I heard somebody warn that they might not be serving food on flights, which they are, but just in case. I brought an entire bag full of food, including a sandwich and a salad. It's been a morning. They wouldn't let me on my original itinerary because I wasn't allowed to fly through Madrid. So now I'm on a Delta flight to fly through Amsterdam. All confirmed travelers are welcome to board. Oh man, I wish we could get that in writing. One second. Is it too good? It's too good. Let's <laughs> let's see if it let's see if it's you. Okay, it's you. You want it. <laughs> I've been too afraid to point the camera at these people when they're talking to me. That seems like a legitimate fear. This way seems to be blocked, I'll just sit up there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Not actually. Made it. Hello, Belgium. Nobody saying hi. It's actually really nice out. Uh, I'm gonna leave this window open a little bit. I'm unpacking. Ooh, those are the delicates. Don't look at those. Settling in with some wine, some cookies. It's both nighttime and evening or morning. I don't know. It's weird. I'm nine hours ahead now and I pulled an all nighter. So I'm just going to coma. That's the only way. Good morning. At 8.41 on Thursday. It's 8.41 p.m. on Wednesday in Bend. I woke up at 7, thought it was 7 a.m. It was 7 p.m. So really it was 4 a.m. So really instead of going to bed at 6 p.m., I went to bed at 3 p.m. I made a bad mistake. Uh-oh. I look so fierce. The tail of two bikes. I want to do a spin on the road, and then I want to ride mud at the donk. But Spencer's not here, so we definitely don't want to get both, both bikes dirty. I definitely don't want to get both bikes dirty. That was a tongue twister. Um, I'm probably just going to ride the road and then not ride the donk. It's drizzly and I'm kind of cold. It is Friday before Saturday's Leuven bike cross race. And it's going to be my first race of the season. Like I haven't even done a hot lap with another human being. I feel like I'm maybe the only one in the field who's in that situation haven't even done a local race uh yeah i mean obviously i want to do well but i don't exactly know how to goal set maybe this is when i'm supposed to talk to my coach i'll talk to the camera instead uh yeah i feel like i don't know where my expectations should be it's uncharted territory having my first race be in belgium kind of mid-season uh, it's gonna be jumping into shark infested waters and I want to not give up on myself if it isn't going well. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Then there are some ruts. I don't know if you can see it. It's teeny tiny. I ain't going over there to show you. Sorry. It's race day still early so we have to be very quiet. That's outside. We can't see it because it's dark. 6.13, down to the dredges of coffee. Um, I'm up so early because of jet lag and I was too afraid to try to sleep more because I thought, you know, the sleep would 
take me and then I wouldn't get up. All of this, going with me. I have no idea what the course is like, nor what the weather conditions have been like, so I don't know what wheels to bring. Um, so you just bring all of them. Good morning, Belgium. Unlocked and loaded. Oops. Shouldn't drive with that attached to my neck. We made it. Just gonna set my bike up on our trainer and think about going free ride. Ooh, I should eat at some point. Sounds good. Just waiting for everyone else to be ready. Are we ready yet? No. Are we ready soon? She's not enthused. bumpy, a lot of little dips and divots, and a lot of little briar patches, a few G out, so we'll see how it goes. I felt fairly comfortable on the free ride. Still nervous for race pace, but I always am. We are. Yeah, yeah. 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 Hi, Mia. I'm such a bad dog vlogger. I didn't have it ready. Oh, Amateur <laughs> hour. Oh, we got some slobber. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Let's meet someone else. How? How is it not your favorite? How is it not your favorite to meet people? That's that guy. Hello, sir. How are you? Boop. A little elbow, yeah. I'm gonna be on TV. I just got interviewed. And it's making me late for my warm up, but I guess at least I get on TV one way, right? Um, I lost my helmet. I can't do this crap. See you after the race the extra indulgence when you really deserve it. Some cliff chocolate recovery and some choco milk. You gotta make room for the powder first. Let's see if I can do this. We're getting a little waste here. This is not COVID approved. You don't realize how much blowing on stuff you do until you need to wear a mask. And if I have to blow on something, do I not blow on it? What's the point wearing a mask if you're just gonna take it off to blow on things? 
so proteiny and messy. In the future, what if, like, what if I was, I crashed out of near last place and was about to make a resurgence and win the race, and I broke a seat post and my pit bag wasn't there? Do you still have your uh, spare bag? No problem. No worries. Do you? I once broke two saddles in one race. Yeah, that's because of you, I think. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> No, no, I'm sure. <laughs> so when I came by the pit for the last time, I realized I was Pete Carey Werner and I was the last person on the lead lap and my mechanics are the last mechanics in the pit. Yeah, So we were feeling lonely. <laughs> so I passed the pit entrance, but then they asked, do you want to come in for an exchange? Heck yes, I did. Yeah, that's wild. <laughs> it, was, it was flawless. It's amazing how good a bike exchange goes when there's absolutely no pressure. Yeah, I mean, I think I definitely wanted more. I think I expected to be exceptional. Um, I've done this travel before. I've traveled on Tuesday, arrived on Wednesday, uh, raced on Saturday, and it's gone really well, but it also wasn't my first race. It's uh, kind of hard to grapple with how I felt. Onwards and upwards. I think I'm acclimating to sea level. Yeah, that's it.